YouTube fam, what's going on? Millennial Waterfowl here, back with you guys. Another video. Let me get this lighting under control. So, today we're doing the part two review on the Magellan Waiters, the Sportsman's TRKR slash X 800 gram waiters that I got from Academy. I did a review earlier at the beginning of the season when I got them, and I'm giving you my part two of them. So I went out, did some hunting, obviously. It's been a hard season, guys. Um, the birds here in northeast Oklahoma just haven't been what they could have been, and it's been a really, really, really tough year with the warm weather. Sorry about the sliding. But um, we did get on some uh, hunts. I did walk around, splash around. It got cold. But I wanted to give you an in-depth review on them and show you what we were working with. So I got these waders, obviously, as you can see, at the beginning of the season. And um, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I'm not sponsored. There's no endorsement. This is just a, a normal hunter. Just review. So as you can see, there's this stitching. And if you look really close, sorry about the lighting, guys. Get it to focus, focus. You see that stitching? It's all coming apart throughout the waders. And I probably got to go on maybe five, six hunts where, you know, you walked a little bit. And by the boot down here, um, held up great, surprisingly. Um, it pulled up a little bit. As you can see, that's not dirt. That's the glue that they were set in. And they pulled up from walking um, all the way around. They tear extremely easily as you can see right there is a nice tear from god knows what um sticks or something i do some timber hunting i didn't run myself through the forest in these you know this was just timber hunts but the stitching get this lighting fixed the stitching that runs all across these waders has pulled out and has gotten loose throughout the waders in random spots um as you can see right here where the belt goes See how that's pulling out? Um, the camo pattern, I love it. I love the darker old school camo pattern. I think it looks great. But where the seams are all crossing, there's the, the, the crotch seam, it came loose. And guys, I'm not uh, an oh my god, like I'm gonna walk six miles in a pair of waders and beat the living crap out of them. But I use mine as any normal waterfowler would that goes out on a hunt, whether it's in timber, marsh. Um, I'm not packaging these up and putting them, um, you know, in a duffel bag every time I hunt, but I'm not throwing them in the back of my truck and letting them freeze overnight. You know, I bring them inside when I'm done hunting. I'll go power wash them when I'm done if they're all gross. And I keep them in a climate environment because Nobody wants to be cold when you go hunting. So with that being said, I'm I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed in in um, the quality of the design and the material. They weren't the the warmest waders. Obviously, for you know 150 bucks, 130 bucks, whatever I said I paid for them. But with that being said. Um, I mean, duck season's over in like five, six days. Um, and I, and I mean, I got on the birds. I got to hunt five, six times, you know, walk three, 400 yards here, 200 yards there, 150 yards there. Um, and they just, they didn't hold up, um, as far as what I think that, you know, a decent pair of waders, they weren't freezing like a pair of just generic rubber waders. But as far as the material goes itself and the way it was designed, I don't, I just don't think that it's something that, you know, is going to last any length of time. I mean, like I said, I've only had these waders for four months and the stitching's coming out of them and, you know, you pull a box of deep, that's just a little bit of what I have. It's kind of a mess. I got the heater and, you know, a few, ba a few decoys and a sled and... That's generally what I pull, you know, a couple dozen here and there, walk out to cow farms. Um, we did a couple timber hunts, you know, knee deep, um, maybe waist deep, a couple of them, but nothing, nothing horrible or horrendous. Um, and they just, 
I don't know if it was, you know, I caught him on a, a limb or a stick or something, but I didn't feel any rips or tears or anything that was like, oop, I think I just cut my waders. It was, you know, we're walking out from a cornfield, going through 10, 15 yards, and then getting into a little pond or a little slough, and then just standing there and then getting really cold because the waders are filling up. And, you know, obviously you guys know and I know when you hit something, you know when you got a hole. You know when you poked them, you feel it. I mean, it happens. And sometimes you don't. But as far as taking care of your stuff and doing the right thing with these waders, I didn't abuse them to the point where they should be like this. It's just my opinion. Like I said, I usually don't do too well with waders. Um, they usually only last me a season. And once again, we're right at the end of the season and these waders are toast. So I don't know if they have a warranty. I do have my receipt. I'm going to take them up there and see if there's anything they can do with that. I'm not real like excited about it and if they don't lesson learned so the Magellan waders that uh, I purchased they don't get the millennial stamp as far as tough and durable and rugged I know obviously you can spend more money um, and get you know some of the Gore-Tex ones but like I said guys I've bought those $300 waders those $400 waders and I don't know they just haven't really built a pair of waders that I think really stand up to the name and really can just handle anything for a long given period of time. I didn't walk through barbed wire. I didn't go over some sharp or whatever. They just, I mean, they tear their, their waders and their soft material. Obviously you have to take care of them. And I feel like I've done this. So in my opinion, I'm not going to give it the go out and grab it. Um, that's just me. Um, Who's to say which waders are the best? Everybody says different things for, for different waders. It just depends on what works for you. I mean, if you bought these and you sit in your truck, you drive right up to a pond that's completely flat and there's nothing around you, no brush, no nothing, and you get out and you put these on and you go throw out five, six, seven decoys, dozen, whatever, and you get back in your truck and you sit down, you chill out, they might last you a little bit longer than they lasted me. But as far as just normal, rugged, walk out on public land or hop out of a boat, hop back into a boat. They just didn't work out for me, guys. So with that being said, take that for what it's worth. Um, I hope that helped you guys out. And like I said, these, this wasn't an endorsement or a sponsor or anything. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Millennial Waterfall out.